Did you know that the heaviest ship ever built weighed over 600,000 tons when fully loaded with cargo? How can something that heavy float? Well, it has to do with density. Here's an experiment to see how that works. In order to do this experiment, you first need a container for water. Now it is time to try out some household objects. Gather some items from around your house that you would like to see if they float. Set up a piece of paper like this to record your results. Have one column that has the name of each item. The next column will be your hypothesis or your educated guess as to what you think will happen. And then the last one will be your observations where you will record what actually does happen. Let's do an example. I have two items, a can of Coke, and a can of Diet Coke. As you can see, I wrote them down for my items and my hypothesis for each is that I think they will float. I think they will float because I know they have carbonation in them um, and that might make them more likely to float. So let's see what happens. I'll start with the Coke, place it in gently, and that one sinks to the bottom. I'll take the Diet Coke, Put that one in and that one floats. Any good science experiment you should do it and repeat it, try it again. So we'll do it one more time. Coke sinks to the bottom. Diet Coke still floats. Now why is that? Well it has something to do with density and density takes into consideration mass and volume. Now volume is how much space an object takes up. These cans have the exact same volume. It's about 380 cubic centimeters. They are exactly the same size. Where there are difference, where there is a difference is the mass. The Diet Coke, if I was to put this on a scale, would come out to about 370 grams. The Coke, if I put that on a scale, would come up to about 394 grams or so. So because of that, the Coke is heavier than the Diet Coke, and the Coke sinks. So how can a 600,000 ton ship float, but a can of soda sink? Well, that has to do with density. Density is how much space something takes up, volume, in relation to how much stuff it has in it, mass. Another way of saying this is how much mass it has per volume. If you have two objects that are the same size, like our soda cans, same volume, but they have different weights, different mass, the one that weighs more will be more dense, while the one that weighs less will be less dense. So going back to our 600,000 ton ship, now it also is the longest ship ever built. So although it has a high mass, it also has a large enough volume that its density actually equates out to less than one, which is less than that of water, so it floats. Now it's your turn to try this experiment. Send us an email at the link below with your results.